Let us think today about the story of the evening Jesus spent with his disciples before he was arrested. We begin as Jesus and his disciples gather in an upper room to celebrate the Passover meal together. Here are the events as told in John's Gospel and signed by Peter MacDonagh. A reading is from John, chapter 13, verses 1 to 15. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who are in this world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he'd come from God and was returning to God. So. He got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And Jesus replied, You don't realise now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then, Lord, Simon Peter replied, not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, those who've had a bath need only to wash their feet. Their whole body is clean. And you are clean. Though not every one of you for he knew who was going to betray him. And that was why he said not everyone was clean. And when Jesus had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you, he asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your teacher and Lord, have washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet. I have set you an example so that you should do as I have done for you. St Paul tells us more of the story in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verses 23 to 26. The reading is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 26. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night 
that he was betrayed, took bread, and when he'd given thanks, he broke it, and he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This is my cup of the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. O God, our Father, you have invited us to share in the supper which your Son gave to his church to proclaim his death until he comes. May he nourish us by his presence and unite us in his love, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Many of us would be accustomed today to take Holy Communion and the coronavirus crisis means we cannot. So maybe you would like to watch again the video we produced that's entitled Spiritual Communion and use it to help you to make your own communion with God. So now may God watch over you and keep you in his ho your homes or wherever you watch this. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you today and always. Amen.